I made a working guardian farm inside an ocean monument. Most farms are built outside the monument because it's easier, but I cleared the ocean monument and am building a mega base around it. The tested XP rates are 0 to 30 in 45 seconds, 0 to 50 in 3 minutes 30, and 0 to 100 in 20 minutes and 45 seconds. I've used 21 of the 25 monument spawn spots. I'll show you the exact changes you need to make to get it working inside. Let's start by draining the inside of the monument. I've already done the outside. Um, just do a quick montage of the inside, give you a bit of a, a look at what I did. Many sponges were used in the draining of this monument. This was vastly helped by having a conduit in place the whole time. You don't want to have to worry about drowning when you're draining a monument. So originally the plan was to use this interior as kind of a bit of a base, keep as much of the monument as possible, uh, maybe build some rooms inside the current rooms, but um, I don't know, it, it just didn't didn't quite jive with what I was wanting and I would have had to build another guardian farm so I kind of cleared out the entrance but then I guess at this point I decided you know what let's just cut it down to the floor and build a guardian farm inside. And you'll see at one point there's ice marked out on the floor those are the spawn spots you can see it in this image here and soon to be revealed kind of peeking out I thought maybe I'd leave some pillars in place, but ended up getting rid of all those anyway. You'll see later. And I'd already taken the gold out of that. So this was my old uh, Guardian farm. It's uh, similar to a Silent Whisperer design. Uh, stood me in good stead, did lots of good things for Guild Rock on the server, uh, but it was time for it to come down. So there's going to be four different Guardian processing stations. However, two of them are just mirrors of the other. So if you know how to build two of them, the rest come easily. So for the first one, this is going to be in the middle of the room and the other one, the other type, I guess, are going to be in the edges where you we kind of got to cram things in. So I'm assuming that this is the Guardian spawning spot and we are trying to send it along a water stream in that direction. So let's put a piston here and a stairs here. The actual type of stairs don't matter at all. So we put a solid block here. I like to put a light block next to it. My scroll wheel is not behaving. Light block next to it just because then you've got lighting built in and then you get another three solid blocks. And then we need a piston on top of that and a piston there. We need a solid block here. Out of this piston we need a, a top slab and then we need another block coming out from there. Make sure you have glass along here. Glass is going to go along there and we're going to have ice go along there. Packed ice. Or you can do blue ice I guess if you're like, super wealthy. <laughs> So from this point here, this is this is essentially the basic structure. Now we just need to wire it up. So we want to put down a bamboo trapdoor. So we've got the spawn spot, we've got one piece of ice, and then we have the trapdoor. The direction of the trapdoor doesn't matter. It's just to stop the guardians from going out there and enabling them to stay in the, um, what are we calling it? The processing chamber, yes. So we have redstone there, we have a redstone torch up here, and this blocks the spawn spot when the farm is not active. So we're going to have a redstone line come from that direction, and then it comes over top here. We want a redstone repeater on four, and then one there. Going to have glass go on top 
like this. And I actually like to do my water so afterwards, because you're running backwards and forwards and you can hit it from behind. So to test this works, let's build our super simple one here. So you want the redstone torch, you want the line to come out from the redstone torch side, because then when it's not active, it will be the way that it's supposed to be. So we have redstone dust there, repeater, and it's gonna go like that, it's all working. I'll show you that in a second. Put the lever wherever makes sense to you. So by having it this way, it's off and everything is the way that it is supposed to be. So this, when it's when the farm is off, the piston is meant to be extended. Take off this glass for now. Uh, you want to have the glass on there to keep all the guardians inside while they're being processed. So we have the piston extended. We've got water here. So the water will flow into here, which will allow the guardians to spawn. And then these two pistons here are for taking care of those pesky guardians. Make sure you've got glass in there, just so that the tridents have something to push up against. Then when we activate this farm, they're going to essentially sit in here. The guardians are going to spawn. I've got a clear water pack on so you can't see it quite as well, but the guardians are going to spawn at this point here. Some of them are going to get processed there. Others are going to get pushed here. This just speeds up their processing. And if you put impaling five on the tridents, it's going to take care of them a lot faster as well. And so the next one, we're going to mirror this. We can start with the stairs and then we're going to have the piston go this way. See, it's the exact replica opposite. So we have this one, then the lantern, three solid blocks. Let's clear this out for the ice. I usually do my ice paths before I do anything else, but that's just for now. We have a solid block there. And glass along here, glass along there. We want pistons in those spots. Can you tell I've built it a few times? <laughs> Don't this from memory. Okay. And then we just wire this thing up. Bamboo trapdoor, one redstone torch there, redstone dust there. We're gonna have the line come through here, up the first two, redstone repeater on four ticks. Glass across, throwing some tridents. Now, as long as you turn this farm off before you leave the area, you're not gonna need to worry about rethrowing tridents. However, sometimes if you if you leave it running and you log off or you get booted or whatever, you may have to break some of this glass and pick it up from there. So what I like to do for a lot of it is actually to run bamboo along there because when you get into some of those tight corners, it can be a little difficult and it just looks a little nicer. But if you are doing that, so you have your water streams coming out, pretty standard water stream stuff. So you would just make sure if you ever needed to cross over, you would just put a glass block in at that spot. And that just helps you to move across the terrain more easily. Let's see if that reaches. And oh, one block short, come on. So it's perfectly fine to just have repeaters in there. They don't need to be firing at the same time. They just need to be firing. So now let's imagine that through here is the edge of the guardian farm. So we've got to build the one wide ones. So the reason why we have to build it so tightly is because we often don't have much room at all. So you just kind of got to fit it in. So similar sort of idea for this part. So we have this and then we have solid block and a light. We've got a block here. And then this is where it gets a little bit different. So here we're actually making this little L shape. So behind this piston, going to have some redstone dust. Gonna have a torch there. That is to block the spawn spot. Going to have 
this other piston here, we have dust, we have a repeater going into this block with the torch on four ticks. And then the dust goes like this. So it's a bit different. So we still have our ice highway. Then the glass comes in here. Have our trap door goes there. And then we only need one trident for this one. And that's going to go there. So you probably want to waterlog this one a little earlier just because it can be tricky to fit all this in. So to give you an idea of what you're working with, this is actually going to be the wall of the of the ocean monument. So it's kind of in really tight like this. This I actually like to put to cyan stained glass because it's gonna look like this and cyan actually blends in quite nicely, particularly from a distance. You don't really see it compared to the others and you have to have glass that pierces through the monument so that it works basically. So above every spawn spot you're going to need to have I, I would put cyan glass, just always do that. Um, and so you're kind of working with this, which uh, can be a little tricky to fit everything in. So it kind of, kind of goes like that. So we've got something that looks like this. Now let's do the mirror version of that. So if we're over this way, right, so it's gonna be the mirror image of it. Um, you're going to need it at different spots. So you're going to use one of these four modules somewhere in the farm. It's up to you how you want to fit it in. So we have their solid block. Then we want our light, that there. And then coming out behind this, we have this setup. Trap door there, fill it in with glass. Obviously put your piston in. I was just testing to see whether you were noticing. Did you notice? Comment below if you noticed that one. <laughs> okay, so we've got our repeater on four ticks going into there. Dust through here. Dust behind that piston. Redstone torch. Waterlog the stair. It's already going to be there. We're just going to put cyan glass above this to get through. And then regular glass. So as long as you have regular glass going up to and over the trap door, then you're going to be fine. You can do whatever you want in between. You don't have to have a cover. I just like to have a cover just so that I don't fall into the water streams. Um, probably don't do them until you've done your water streams, but yeah, that's basically it. Three trident in front of this piston. So this basically forms a piston trident killer. And then make sure everything is all wired up. They're going to need a repeater that way too. So I usually like to have my repeaters kind of in here. I'll do it a bit more like how I normally have it. Rather than having multiple repeaters like that, just kind of saves on resources. So I like to have it just before, just before a branch like so. So then if we turn this on, hopefully everything works. And it'd be good if I wired everything up. So you see this line here, it can go into there or it can go into there. Does the exact same thing, doesn't matter. Whatever makes more sense for your setup. So for all these, you wanna make sure that the piston is the piston in front of the stair is retracted on all of them and that the top piston is firing backwards and forwards and everything looks good. So let's finish clearing out this area and start building all these modules inside the farm. So as you can see, I like to do the ice highway first, just so that I know exactly where everything's gonna be working, makes it easier when you're wiring it up later. And the prismarine bricks around the outside are purely for decorative reasons, for no other reasons. And I just kind of cleared out, I guess, the feet of the monument. I don't know what they're called.
So you can see in this one, the four different variations that we just covered. You don't have to use it this way. You could do most of them all the same way, but I don't know, I just kind of like the way that it, it fits with everything else. It makes the wiring a little bit easier, but at this point it's not really. So I'm putting this wiring in as it is just so that I can test to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So you don't have to use glass around there. You could fill it in with solid, but um, I, I'd like to be able to see how everything is moving around. And the, adding the water streams is a bit of trial and error. Uh, you just kind of finagle it as best you can. Uh, I originally put glass on the top, uh, but that was that was a bit of a mistake because then I, it was really difficult to get to the, the far ones. So I changed the tops to bamboo trapdoors, as you can see, it just makes moving around a lot easier. So I'm in a creative copy right now. Make sure that you put your cyan glass over each of the spawn spots, not just over here, but you also want, so it, wherever the spawn spot is, you make sure that it is covered. So you can go right the way up to where the water level was. You can start building above there. You can see I've done some testing above. That was a uh, sneak peek at what's coming in the next episode. But we have over every single one of these spawn spots, you'll see that I've put the cyan glass. So I've tested it with solid blocks uh, at varying heights and as long as you get it above that spot it'll be fine so this is the way that i've kind of wired it up so we've got so down here is to the storage just got item filters and shulker loaders so i have this basic bunny ears clock so that just wires up and goes over to here which connects to all of the spawn spots and so all these ones are run off the clock on that side. And then all these ones are run off the clock on this side. There we go. So you can see it literally just drops off. Um, it's hard to see the water because I've got a clear water pack on. But uh, just down here, it drops and goes through an ice highway, which comes out here. One from that side, one from that side. Runs into the chest, item filters. And pulls everything and pulls everything into these shock loaders.